Good evening and a warm welcome to Tough Bully. Today, most parents say they'll encourage their kids in whatever field they choose as long as they're happy. But growing up around parents in the decor trade, Peter and Kubo Herrmann's daughters decided they didn't want to do anything else. And looking around at this house, I can't say I blame them. A first glimpse of this home reveals a unique design element. Green hedging is not simply neat landscaping, but forms foliage walls integral to the design. The repeat patterning is echoed inside with the use of wallpaper and fabric. The look is a sophisticated take on botanicals. This house has such a wonderful feel to it, and I've noticed quite a distinct natural theme running throughout. What we set about to do was to create a garden pavilion. We created a garden that really is quite impactful from the interior. So when you look out into the garden, you actually notice, instead of doing balustrading as an example, we've got hedging. And what that does is it actually creates architectural elements which are green and soft and become part of the space. Water features form an urban oasis around the home. We wanted to create, firstly, visual perspectives into the garden, but then also to, from a design perspective, bring elements such as trellising into the building too. So what that does is it makes it feel a bit like a conservatory, and you could almost visualize um, creepers growing on the trellising, but obviously we haven't taken it to that extent. <laughs> The theme of natural history, from birds to iridescent butterflies, extends to the botanical drawings by Kuba Hermann. The symmetry of the framed works is integral to the living room design. It took me about a year to do. It's a lot of pushing from John, and I really enjoyed to do it because it was a complete new avenue for me to do, because I used to do sculpturing and faces and figures. So this was really exciting for me to do. Now, Peter, I know you're in the fabric business, so I would imagine that using fabric was part of your brief. John was very clever. He didn't worry too much about fabric, which was a great concern to me. But eventually, you know, when he came around to use fabric, then I told him, well, John, you can use as much fabric as you like, as long as it's our fabric. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was what was so exciting about the project. I need to show you how we've actually used fabric in the house. John began his design concept by going green with a wide selection of what Mother Nature has in stock. What we've done is we have designed the garden in such a way that it becomes a focal point for the room. And then what we've also done is we've lined the joinery in mirror. And the reason for that is the walls that don't have windows now reflect the green in the garden beyond. One of your signatures seems to be the use of collections throughout. Yes, I find a collection of objects always creates um, a sense of, sense of depth in a house. So rather than just having a whole lot of disparate objects in a house, the idea of actually focusing on something and collecting a series of them, I find has so much more impact than simply finding a whole lot of objects that don't necessarily have meaning together. So more is more. More is more, more <laughs> is more. Speaking of which, I see you've used the same fabric over here on the walls, on the curtains, and also on the blinds. We wanted to do the whole room in fabric to, cre to create sort of a warm, very cozy feeling. Mm -hmm. But obviously, um, because we've used so much fabric, my feeling was that if we repeated the same fabric on the wall and on the curtain, it would be less busy than if we were to use two different fabrics. It's a restrained and elegant use of geometric design. I love how the stripe actually draws your eye upwards. Yes, this, this vertical stripe was actually woven specifically for this project. It was woven on the vertical as opposed to the horizontal, which is not normally what would be done because, of course, Mr. Herman owning his own Fabric house, we could do whatever we wanted, which was quite exciting. <laughs> Knowing friends in high places. Yes, right? I guess. <laughs> this is the pot bedroom, so called because of the cotton fabric embroidered in a subtle Chinese vase pattern. Linen fabric in broad stripes of white and oatmeal was commissioned especially for the walls and bed hanging. John designed the wrought iron tables to connect with the garden trellis theme. Wow. Oh, well, I see you've actually used this fabric in all the different elements of the room. Because we've used the same fabric over and over again, it actually feels quite simple. I don't think we would have achieved this effect if we had used various too many patterns in the room, and I think that's why it's particularly successful. I think the coloration of it as well is quite a gentle coloring, and because the pattern is so consistent as well, it reads more as a color wash as opposed to a heavy-duty pattern. How much did you actually use? Well, I'm not really sure how much fabric we used in this room, but we used 450 running meters of fabric in the whole house. <laughs> as you said, more is more. 
A touch of sepia tones softens the colour scheme, unspoilt by the essential and practical trappings of a modern home. There's none of the usual clutter that you have with the bedside lamps and the wires and plugs. It's quite impressive that you notice that because most people don't notice that. What we have done is we upholstered panels and we put it behind the bedside table so that the wires are concealed. It's a home that lends itself to entertaining. A family meal here could be seen as an informal board meeting. Peter launched his textile business 23 years ago and promptly made sure that it would maintain its high standards with his three talented daughters on board. We're a family business, fabric runs in our veins, so I think it's very appropriate for the fabric being used in so many different ways in this house. We used a lot of organic fabrics in the home, a lot of linen, cotton, and they sat down to us, so I really think that our suits them. What I love about this house is the artwork. My mom painted most of it, and she also did a lot of the sculptures, and we, we're really proud of it. It's really special to us. It's not often a family can claim that every member's had a hand in creating a special space. But in Peter and Kuba Herman's home, that's exactly what's happened. The results speak for themselves, and it's a prime example of what you can achieve with fabric.